Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of functions. And we are continuing our series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question, we have taken this up from the year 2016. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, here we have been told that F, G, H are your differentiable functions and those functions are given by the idea f of x is given to us as x cube plus 3x plus 2 then we have been given g of x is equal to not g of x we have been given g of f of x that is equal to x and we have been further given the h of g of g of x that is equal to x. This is valid for all x belongs to R real numbers. We have been told that the options given to us is g dash of 2 is given to us as 1 by 15. Second option tells us x dash of 1 is 66. Third option h of 0 is given to us as 16. And the last option given to us here is h of g of 3 is equal to 36. So we need to figure out which of the following options that are mentioned here are the correct ones. Let's do that. So we already know that a function f of x is given to us as x cube plus 3x plus 2. Now if I try to find out the first one that is g dash of 2, let's do that. So I know already from the given expression that g of f of x is equal to x since i want to find out g dash of 2 i'll differentiate this with respect to x so when i differentiate this with respect to x i get g dash f of x into derivative of f of x that is f dash of x is equal to derivative of x which is 1 so you get this as 1 so basically you get g dash of f of x is 1 upon f dash of x. Now here we need g dash of 2. So instead of f of x I want here 2. So I should make this f of x to turn out 2. And this f of x will turn out 2. Because here this constant term 2 is present. So I need to make this and this 0. So when I need to make this and this 0, I understand that I should put the value of x as 0. So when f of x is x cubed plus 3x plus 2, f of 0 if I put, so instead of x if I am putting 0, I get this 0 plus 0 plus 2. That is 2. You get f of 0 is equal to 2. So you understand that you get this f of x turning to become 0 when you put x value as 0 here. So I understand that I went on g dash of 2 that is only obtained when I put x as 0. So I need f dash of 0. So let's find out f dash of x also first. I know f of x is x cubed plus 3x plus 2. So if I differentiate that f dash of x becomes 3x squared plus 3. So if I find out f dash of 0, I'm putting x as 0 again. I get this 3 into 0 plus 3. So that makes it 3. So you get that g dash of 2 is equal to 1 by 3. So this is our first option. Here if I see g dash of 2 is given to us as 1 by 15, which is not correct because I got g dash of 2 as 1 by 3. Right? So this is not a correct option. Now let's talk for the functions of h. Let's find that as well. So if I find out, I already have the idea with me that h of g of g of x, that is equal to x. Now we already have one idea with us. 
that g of f of x we know it is equal to x so let's have this idea here so if i have here h of g of g of x is equal to x so instead of x if i write this or if i replace this x because i have the idea for g of f of x here right so instead of h of g of g of x if i put instead of x here f of x so what happens is is equal to here also instead of x i am going to put it as f of x now i already have the idea with me that when i am putting this g of f of x that's going to turn out x because we know it from the previous idea that g of f of x is x so i get this that it becomes h of g of instead of g of f of x i can just write that as x so we have one idea with us that h of g of x is equal to f of x now again instead of x again instead of x if i am putting f of x so that turns out your function as h of g of f of x this becomes f of instead of x you are again putting f of x so it becomes f of x and here you get this again g of f of x that turns out from the previous idea as x so you get from your h of x f of so now you have the idea with you that h of x is equal to f of f of x now let's find out we need h of 0 here so let's put that values so if i have here let's put x is equal to 0 so you have your h of 0 is equal to f of f of 0 we already know f of 0 from the previous idea f of 0 was 2 so that makes it f of 2 f of 2 we already have f of x as x cube plus 3x plus 2 so if i write it here on the right hand side x is x cube plus 3x plus 2 so if i need f of 2 i'm just putting x as 2 everywhere so that makes your expression as 2 cube plus 3 into 2 plus 2 that gives you 8 plus 6 plus 2. That is basically 14 plus 2, which is 16. So you get h of 0 as 16. And if you see the option here, that matches with the answer. So you get a correct answer for this question till now. Let's check for options B and D as well. Now, once I have h of, if I see here, I need h of g of something. So here, I already have that idea with me. The h of g of x is also f of x. So if I use that as well, h of g of x is f of x. And here I have been asked to find out h of g of, instead of x, I would need to put it as 3. So if I put it as 3, I get this idea becoming f of 3. We again have the idea with us f of x is x cube plus 3x plus 2. So if I just take the differentiate, oh sorry, if I just put the value of x as 3, I get this f of 3. So everywhere I am putting x equal to 3. So your expression becomes 3 cube plus 3 into 3 plus 2. So 27 plus 9 plus 2. So 27 plus 2, 29. 29 plus 9, 28. So you get this h of g of 3 turning out 38. If I see the option here, it's not 38. It's given to us as 36. So this is also not the correct option because this answer comes out. Now we need to only check for the second option that is B. Let's find that also. We already know H of X is F of F of X. So if I take the differentiation, H of X is F of F of X. So if I just differentiate that H dash of X becomes f dash of f of x into f dash of x because we are treating this f of x as x so i'm just taking the differentiation further with respect to that so f dash of f of x so if i'm putting x as what i need h dash of 
one. So I'm putting x as one here. So h dash of one turns out f dash of f of one into f dash of one. We already had. Let's first find this part. We already had this f dash of x. That was three x square plus three, I think. Okay. F dash of x was yeah three x square plus three. If I put x as one. I get f dash of one is three. So that makes it six. So this turns out six. Let's find f dash of f of one. So f of one, first of all, if I try to find it, I know f of x is x cube plus three x plus two. So if I find out f of one, that turns out one cube plus three into one plus two. That makes it two plus three five five plus one six. And since I need f dash of f of one, you are putting f dash of f of one is six, so f dash of six you are finding. So in this expression, instead of x, you are going to put six. So three into six square plus three. That gives you thirty six into three plus three. Thirty six into three that is hundred and eight. Hundred and eight plus three hundred and eleven. So you get this hundred and eleven. 111 into 6. If I just multiply, I get that 666. So you get the answer as 666, and that is what is the answer also given to you. So you again get a correct answer for the option B as well. That h dash of one also turns out 666. So you get a correct answer that h dash of one also gives you the answer as 666. So you get two correct answers for this question, and those are options B and C. I hope you have understood how to solve these questions on functions which involves complicated functions like f of x, then g of f of x, then we had h of g of g of x. So how to simplify this idea? We understood that, and once you simplify, you just put the values of x and get whatever you have been asked. Right? I'll see you again. tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and tomorrow we are going to end our series of questions on gw advanced so stay tuned also do like share and subscribe to my channel do share this videos with your friends who are also involved in this preparation of gw advanced thank you